scarcity is a reality in our life and when we talk about it in mathematical terms it is known as the equation of a constraint when we do the optimization we have to consider the reality of the constraints and in this video we will learn that how we can include the constraints mathematically in our process of optimization we can already understand that scarcity is the most important reality in our economic analysis that hinders our choices and we have to make our choices wisely these constraints are also known as restraint or side relation or subsidiary condition and it narrows the domain x and hence range y of the objective function x will limit the range, uh, values of y now this is an economic uh, situation that we have seen many times which is the consumer equilibrium and in consumer equilibrium we have the ice, uh, the indifference curves these are the indifference curves and we have a budget constraint with the help of this black straight line mathematically represented with this equation and this is the point of tangency that gives us the critical values of x and y which means that this is the level of x and y that will maximize the utility given the constraint in addition we also face the problem of constraint and optimization when it comes to the producer equilibrium and in this we have isoquants and then we have the cost constraint and a similar situation prevails equilibrium is there these are the critical values of labor and capital so now we have this um, couple of examples uh, of constraint optimization moreover we can also try to minimize the cost subject to a output constraint here the situation is reversed now the constraint is in terms of output we have a certain target of the output that we want to achieve and in that we have uh, various levels of costs out of which we will choose the lowest one this is not going to allow us to reach this output level so this would be dropped this would be overspending because it will allow us to uh, it will basically make us spend this much of the extra cost this however is the most suitable cost constraint that is CB where the equilibrium is happening and we are able to achieve the target output as well as the cost is as low as possible. So these are various examples of co constraint optimization. Diagrammatically speaking the diagram of a constraint maximum will look like this in a 3D situation where Z is a function of X and Y we have the constraint and we have this dome this dome is representing a maximum this is called as free maximum because there is no constraint on it but if we apply a constraint which is slicing this dome here we are getting this surface so this constraint actually is uh, restricting our approach to this uh, uh, border and at this border this is the highest possible point so it's a maximum but it is a constrained maximum so that's how we differentiate between a free maximum and a constrained maximum we can also call this as unconstrained maximum because there is no restriction in in this maximum so diagrammatically we have also understood it and we have free optimum uh, which is higher than the constraint optimum because it is having no constraints sometimes both can be the same uh, and that can be possible if the constraint is lying here then it will slice the uh, dome here and this will uh, give us the same uh, level of the free maximum as well as the constraint maximum however constraint optimum cannot be the high uh, cannot be higher than the free optimum definitely we cannot have a constraint optimum which is higher than the 
free uh, optimum that is it is the same but definitely constrained optimum cannot go here somewhere so this is also not possible so this was a little introduction to the constraint uh, optimization process in which we considered some uh, diagrammatical depiction of it and also some economic situations where we confront the constrained optimization and in the next video we will learn about the uh, mathematical process of uh, executing the constrained optimization thank you